Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new series, Road to Pro. In this series, I'll be covering my journey of improving at Fortnite and teaching you how you can as well. This first episode is how to improve your aim. In this episode, I'll be covering everything from third party aim trainers to how to warm up your aim in Fortnite. I have timestamps in the description for each part, but I'd recommend watching the whole video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here we have a third party aim trainer called Kovax. Kovax is the most popular aim trainer on the market and it's about $10 on Steam. Aim trainers are helpful because you're able to train very specific parts of your aim over and over again. I like to compare aim trainers to going to the gym. When I go to the gym, I focus on specific muscle groups that I want to grow. When I aim train, I focus on specific movements that I often in game. I've created a beginner's playlist on Kovax that covers mouse control, tracking, flicking, and overall speed. If you want to try it out, I have the code in the description, and it's also highlighted on screen. The first scenario is called Smoothness Trainer. This helps smooth out your mouse movements and is a great warm-up for tracking. When I play this, I like to make sure my crosshair is in the center of the target the entirety of the scenario. You will play this scenario twice before moving on to the next scenario. This next scenario is called Tile Frenzy. This scenario is great for accurate flicking. When I play this, I try to miss as few shots as possible. I worry about speed in the later scenarios. I try to make sure my accuracy is fully warmed up before I add any speed. You will also be playing this twice. This scenario is called Jumbo Tile Frenzy. This is where we're going to up our speed. For this, you'll be flicking to targets as fast as you can. Make sure whenever you flick, you hit the center of the target. Edge flicking is what it's called when you barely hit the edge of a target. If you edge flick your targets in Fortnite, you'll see way more low damage shots. You'll be playing this scenario three times. Here is our next tracking scenario called Thin Aiming Long. In this scenario, the target is a thin pole that moves randomly across your screen. Do your best to stay with it and react as fast as possible. You'll also play this scenario three times. This next scenario is called Tile Frenzy Mini. It is one of the best scenarios for micro flicking. Micro flicking is a very underrated skill that could be the difference between a body shot and a max damage headshot. Try to jump between targets as fast as possible. You'll play this scenario twice. The final scenario in this beginner training playlist is fast pump flicks. This is obviously going to train your fast pump flicks. You won't have much time to react, so you have to make your shots quick. Once again, stay away from edge flicking. You want to hit the center of the target. You'll play this final scenario twice. Try to play this beginner playlist every day, even if you don't play Fortnite. Remember, this is aim training, this isn't your warm up. You wouldn't warm up for a basketball game by bench pressing, you do that on your off days. Once you become better and more familiar with Kovacs, you can add your own scenarios and even develop your own playlist based on your personal strengths and weaknesses. Next up is your daily warm up. This should take place in game, and I believe aim duels is the number one way to warm up and improve your aim. This map here is Kovax backwards, called Shavik. This is a great creative aim map that I've used for a very long time. I'll put the code up on screen right now, and I'll put it in the description. Once you spawn in, you're going to want to come over to the gun wall and grab a shotgun and any other gun you want to practice with. Then, you're going to want to come over to scenarios and select one of the aim duels. These can be done with a friend or by yourself. That is why I think this map is one of the best. Then you can select free play and press go. One of the best aim tips I've ever received is to focus above the shoulders rather than on the head. The head is a very small target and aiming above the torso won't only subconsciously give you a larger target, but it will ensure you hit max pellets on your shots. Always focus on what you're shooting. Often, I will think about why I missed and realize I wasn't even focusing on his head, just shooting mindlessly. 
Getting out of that habit will ensure you hit way more shots. Once I play for a few minutes, I emote to return to the lobby and I play one of the other aim duels. Select free play and go. Remember, you're warming up your shotgun, so make it realistic and get close to the bot. You always want to practice if you play rather than mindlessly shooting. After I finish those aim duels, I go to a map called Marto's Turtle Fights. I'll put the code on screen now. Once you load in, leave spawn and get to fighting. This map has a ceiling height of 3 floors and all builds break every 60 seconds. This map is great for not only aim, but also practicing peace control. Pro players like Marto's and Polarize play this map every day to warm up their aim. This is only the first episode in a multi-part series designed to help you improve. If you enjoyed this one, please check out my channel to watch the other one. As soon as tournaments start back up, I'll be posting my placements and full games as well. Let me know if you like these type of videos in the comments below. My upload frequency will depend on how well these videos do, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you really like to support me, please check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thebigbroeyjoey and my TikTok at the same handle. See you guys in the next one. Let's grow together.